dust control. That means they're gonna be spraying toxic chemicals all over the roads. How are you guys doing, Eric, here? Today is Saturday, May 15th, 2021. Beautiful morning out here. Smack dab in the middle of May. Wow, these birds. So many birds singing this morning. It's amazing. So yeah, what the hell's going on? Man? Everybody talking about these days. It's all, you know, it's all about the crushing economy, hyperinflation, and cryptocurrency, right? That's the, the big story right now. Cryptocurrency, freaking, what's his face? Elon Musk, fucking pumping and dumping. The whole crypto thing, man. You know, that's what, kind of what I want to talk about, man. What is it really all about? You know, we all think it's just an, an easy way to make money, and it is. It seems... It just seems too good to be true, too easy, you know, it's just, it's too easy to make money at it right now and that, and it's, it seems like a trap, right? It's gotta be, you know, but, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's not just about a, a money-making scheme, it's, I think it's all about total human control, man, it's, they're building this, this giant artificial intelligence, and that's what, that's what they're doing, that's what it's all about, all these, all these blockchains, they're, uh, you know, designed to keep track of everything, man. Very sophisticated tracking software is what it is. Track transactions, that's basically what it is, man. It's like decentralized blocking chain tracking set transactions. And that's all, really all it is. People invest money into it, and it tracks all the money, basically. And, and it does other things, too. It's all, all kind of... They call it Web3 applications they have for it, shit. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still learning about it, but... Yeah, what it, what it seems to me like they're doing is... You know... Behind the scenes, you know, they're, they're, make, they're building this giant intelligence... With all these blockchains connected together... Into it, and then... So basically what it'll be is like... A giant data storage, man, for e easy data storage for this giant artificial intelligence that's gonna that, that, that is gonna turn into a a trap for the human race basically to tr track us all down you know and, uh, that, that's what this all this shit's all about and getting us into this total you know new id it's uh i think and, and it, the, the fascinating thing is is they're, they're we're building it for them you know, with our with our finances, we're putting our power into it, our computing power, and building this whole system, and all in the guise of making money, right? <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Dingo's looking good today. But yeah, I think that's why they're talking. Everybody's talking about cryptocurrency now. It's a, it's just, it's huge. Everybody's talking about cryptocurrency and talking about the crushing, you know, the failing freaking supply chain, right? So, and also cyber attacks, right? That's another big, big thing coming up. Cyber attacks everywhere. They got a, a cyber attack freaking drill coming up, I think. A cyber attack drill they got planned for sometime in July or August. So yeah, just like they had a that drill right before the recent crisis, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, and, there, and that's another big, big part of the conversation is cyber security and all the, the you know ransomware attacks. That's that's what it's all about now. That's what's going to happen. They're saying. Ransomware attacks, you know, and so between that and the supply chain failure, 
also with this blockchain thing, I heard they're coming out with different ways of, you know, tracking products through the blockchain. They got, I heard there's a thing, uh, like a smart, you know, it's, it's like a, a living organism that they can spray on, on food. And it will, it's like a living barcode. And they can, they can scan this organism and, and store information on it. They can actually store information on a living organism, like a, like some kind of a fungus or something that they could spray on. And so yeah, it's, and then track and then track it through the blockchain. Oh, uh, it's just so, so much crazy shit. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, interesting stuff. And that's kind of what I want to talk about this morning. Beautiful morning up here. But yeah, it's because, you know, it's, it's all about the crypto right now, man. It's amazing. Everywhere I go, people on the radio, they're talking about crypto. So yeah, it's it's a good. It's probably a good time if you want to make some money if you ha if you have some already. But yeah, I think you know right now it looks like I, I don't give financial advice, but it looks like Bitcoin could be pretty good. I, it's it's a good buying opportunity. I, I'm thinking for Bitcoin. But no, another interesting thing I heard about crypto is that, uh, you know, people are going out, they're, they're artificially keeping the price of gold and silver low so that people that want to make money investing in that, they're just sitting there stagnating, not doing anything. So they're basically forcing people into crypto if they want to make some money with their investment, with their investing, right? So a lot of people think this theory that, you know, keeping the price and then forcing people into crypto and buying up real assets and holding them cheap right and then when, when everything the whole crypto markets and shit crash you know all, the, all most of the gold in the world will be held in a few hands so that's kind of the idea some people are talking about the trap of crypto it's just it just goes so deep i mean it just it, it encompasses everything you know you know it's just kind of like you know they're, they're pushing it as a a way to you know hedge yourself against the, the fucking dying dollar and you know uh let's see i forgot what i was gonna say oh yeah that's what I was say. it's a way to hedge yourself against the dollar and it's also you know uh going against you know the the you know traditional financial system basically it's a way to to do to to transact financially you know in a, in a new way without going through the old archaic financial systems you know so that's that's the real reason why a lot of people don't like it because you know the the, the financial you know institutions are now starting to invest and big big corporations are starting to invest into cryptos and so, yeah, it's, there's all kinds of stuff going on, man. I could talk about it for days. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.